I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about some misconceptions with certain saltwater fish, namely stingray. A lot of people hear stingray and they're very scared of them uh, in light of recent things that have happened in the news. And if you treat them with respect, you don't have to worry about them. Most of the time people get bit in the wild because they step on them walking in along the beach and into the, into the water. As you can see, I'm handling this guy. I'm really gentle with him. And the chances of me getting stung, as long as I treat him with respect and pay attention to where the barb is on the back of his tail, are pretty slim. We can typically get them so tame, and most of the time they'll eat. Oh, he said goodbye. They'll eat right out of your hands. Well, wake up. Let's see if you want to eat. Come here, pal. What's that? Uh-oh. Let's see if his little buddy will eat. Come here, pal. Again, I'm being real gentle with him. Oh my gosh, over here. What's that? Oh, there we go. They don't really have sharp teeth. You can feel it a little bit. Uh, he grabbed his big piece of krill. That's krill. It's the type of shrimp or crustacean that you find. It's, it's a huge food source for everything basically in the ocean. There's a couple big ones hanging around here. I'll see if I can find them. Oh, there's the big daddy. Come here, buddy. <laughs> All right. Your waiter's here coming to take your order. What do you think of that? Now, they don't always eat out of your hands, but sometimes they do. There we go. Hey, how's that taste? Thank you, pal. You can see he's got it in his mouth right there. I don't suggest petting your fish or playing with them like a pet. I just do that to illustrate that they're not dangerous like people think they are as long as you treat them with the respect that they deserve. 